so we are dealing with the maximum time period of simple pendulum possible on the surface of earth so apne kuch aisa consider kar lete hain ki ye ek bada sa simple pendulum nahi hua ye hamara earth iska mass m radius r mass n radius r radius of earth aur ye koi kahin ek rigid support kahin pata nahi kahin bagal tum bhi aasman mein kahin laga ke laga diya gaya hai aur yahan se ek bada sa jhoola जो सिंपल पेडलम के तरीके से या अर्थ पे ऑसिलेट करेगा संभव बात नहीं ऑब्वियसली एक काल्पनिक सवाल है एक इमेजिनरी क्वेश्चन है बट इट अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्रॉब्लम हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस ब्यूटीफुल प्रॉब्लम सो ओवर हियर इफ वी आर कंसीडरिंग ए रैंडम पोजीशन एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई इक्वेशंस टू सॉल्व दिस सो वी कैन से कि अगर ये बॉब यहां पे आ जाता है तो आई कैन से दैट द फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटी इज गोइंग टू एक्ट इन दिस डायरेक्शन that is mg so gravitational force is going to be directed towards the center of earth is the first thing to understand and then over here if i extend this line then i can say we have a triangle like this where this angle is alpha and beta so this exterior angle is going to be the sum of alpha plus beta so if we break the component of mg in this direction it will become mg cos alpha plus beta which is definitely taken care by the tensional force and the another force which is in this direction is going to be mg sin alpha plus beta so this is going to be the reinforcing force which we are going to discuss by solving this problem so over here the reinforcing force is equal to Minus mg sin alpha plus beta, and if alpha plus beta is small, then we can say F equals ma equals minus mg alpha plus beta, and we get an expression A equals minus g alpha plus beta. So now when we are writing alpha. we can write it as arc length upon radius or we can say x upon length n of the simple pendulum and when we are writing beta then we can write it as x upon radius re of the surface of earth so from here we can write angle this is equal to this length upon length n and when we are writing this beta we are writing this as x upon radius of earth re so from there we get an expression like this and then we can write it as a equals minus g 1 by n plus 1 by re times x so square root square that is we get the form a equals minus omega square x and hence the time period of shn for this giant simple pendulum is going to be 2 pi by g 1 by n plus 1 by re square now over here since we are calculating the maximum possible time period of the simple pendulum on the surface of earth then we are say that if l approaches infinity then the time period will become 2 pi root over radius of earth by g so this is the expression which we are going to get and the value which we obtain by substituting these values will be slightly greater than 80 minutes so this is the value which we are going to get 2 pi root over re by g kindly check this once 2 pi root over re by g if we substitute these values we will get something close to 20 minutes and this is the problem where we have discussed the maximum time period of simple pendulum on the surface of earth so technically we have tried to cover everything which can be asked regarding simple pendulum except one small part which is still left graphical questions on simple pendulum which is definitely quite easy to understand so let's go to that part to understand the graphical questions on simple pendulum